The US Navy recently tested the brand new world's first laser weapon system that claimed to be a game changer. And also it has been noted that system, which directs energy as a weapon, is based on Nikola Tesla's work. Tesla attempted to share his findings with the US military during the last decade of his life. He too had experimented with lasers. The United States has long been a hub for groundbreaking innovations, many of which remain veiled in secrecy, yet hold the potential to revolutionize our world. Recently, whispers have surfaced about a top-secret project involving the US Navy and Air Force, focused on the development of cutting-edge, unstoppable, and highly sophisticated technology. As we dive into this enigmatic creation, well, we must ask ourselves, what are the scientific breakthroughs behind this advanced technology, and how might it shape the future of our world? Join us on this journey of discovery as we delve into the secrets of this remarkable innovation. The US Navy's ships are specifically designed to counter potential threats, even those that might emerge in the future. As a result, these vessels are equipped with a variety of advanced technologies and defense systems that are continuously upgraded. This approach is evident in the construction of new warships, such as the USS Zumwalt. Recognized as the world's largest and most technologically advanced surface combatant, the USS Zumwalt is very, very well designed to ensure naval dominance on the seas. This impressive vessel features a cutting-edge electric propulsion system, a stealthy design, a wave-piercing tumble-home hull, and the most advanced weaponry and warfighting technology currently available. The Zumwalt-class destroyer is capable of executing various missions, including deterrence, sea control, command and control, and power projection. At the same time, the destroyer serves as a platform for the Navy to experiment with innovative systems and objectives. One of the key aspects of the USS Zumwalt is its ability to maintain incredible stealth while possessing all these state-of-the-art features. This makes it very, very difficult to detect, whether it's far out at sea or close to the shore. The advanced capabilities of this ship enable the US Navy to effectively fulfill maritime missions and incorporate new technologies to address emerging security challenges. By focusing on innovation and the integration of these advanced systems, the USS Zumwalt serves as a prime example of their commitment to staying ahead of potential threats and ensuring safety on the world's oceans. To keep staying ahead of the game, they keep trying brand new technologies. Some of the emerging technologies being developed for naval defense are already being tested on US warships. One example is a laser weapon capable of destroying aircraft in mid-flight. The US Navy has been actively working on these laser weapons, refining and upgrading them for future integration into new warships to enhance their defense capabilities. A successful test was recently conducted on a US Navy warship in the Gulf of Aden, where the ultra-high-powered laser weapon was used to target a floating, manless object. When delving into this test, we find the spotlight on the solid-state laser, a laser weapon system aboard the San Antonio-class amphibious transport dock, USS Portland. The core aim? Assessing the efficacy of lasers in shielding vessels from smaller boats and unmanned crafts. The Navy Pacific Fleet released a captivating video showcasing the USS Portland employing its high-energy solid-state laser to incapacitate an aerial drone. Witness the laser's origin from the ship's deck and the drone, a blaze in the aftermath of the laser's strike. Of course, the exact location of the test wasn't disclosed because of the security reasons, but we know for sure test tests have taken place on May 16th in the Pacific. The power of the weapon wasn't specified either, but a 2018 report from the International Institute for Strategic Studies suggests it might be a 150 kilowatt laser, or even more. This successful test demonstrates the potential of laser weapons in modern naval warfare, and as these technologies continue to advance, they will most likely play a crucial role in enhancing the defense capabilities of the US Navy and other naval forces around the world. According to the Navy Pacific Fleet statement, the development and deployment of directed energy weapons like the Solid State Laser provide numerous advantages for warfighters, granting commanders more options for decision-making and response. The previous laser tests have been conducted, such as a live-fire exercise of a 30-kilowatt laser weapon in 2017 aboard the USS Ponce in the near Persian Gulf. Lieutenant Cale Hughes, a laser weapon system officer at the time, explained that these lasers function by emitting a large number of photons at an incoming object, unaffected by factors like wind or range. The ability to engage targets at the speed of light is unbelievable, so it will be for sure a game-changer. 
This technology proves particularly useful for warships like the USS Portland operating in the Gulf of Aden, where they face increasing threats from both manned and unmanned systems. For example, Iranian-backed Houthi rebels employ explosive-laden drone boats in the region. Additionally, ships in these waters must also contend with aerial threats from flying drones. As a result, the continuous advancement and integration of laser weapon systems play a vital role in protecting warships and maintaining a secure maritime environment. The US military has been working to develop high technology that can counter aerial threats like mortars, rockets, drones and missiles, and the new Lockheed Martin combat laser system is a significant step forward. Modern warfare presents new and evolving threats that require different defense approaches. The emergence of advanced war machines, from off-the-shelf drones to cutting-edge hypersonic missiles, has led to a new era of warfare that we probably see in the Star Wars movies. In response, militaries worldwide are developing new technologies and strategies to counter these increasingly effective tactics. A prime example of this high technology is Israel's Iron Dome rocket system, which protects the country from airborne threats. Israel is also testing and implementing an anti-drone and anti-missile laser system called the Iron Beam. Similarly, the US Air Force and Navy are currently testing such systems. Although there is no set timeline for field deployment, most of these systems have power levels around 60 kilowatts, which can disable drones up to Class 3, weighing about 1,300 pounds. The Iron Beam system, on the other hand, boasts 100 kilowatts of power, capable of countering enemy rockets and mortars in the sky. Lockheed Martin's recent unveiling of a 300 kilowatt laser system heralds a groundbreaking chapter in laser defense. This innovative creation from Lockheed Martin employs a technique reminiscent of the Star Wars Death Star, launching its ultra-high powered light beam. By merging smaller individual lasers into one formidable beam capable of obliterating missiles, this spectral beam combined high energy laser technology becomes the cornerstone of Lockheed's potent system. Rick Cordaro, Vice President of Lockheed Martin Advanced Product Solutions, states that the company has enhanced the power and efficiency while diminishing the weight and volume of continuous wave high energy lasers. This reduction mitigates the risk associated with future high power laser weapon systems. Lockheed Martin has delivered multiple high-powered combat laser weapons to date, even completing the project ahead of schedule. The new Lockheed Martin 300 kW laser could potentially target even the most advanced missile systems, including hypersonic missiles. As militaries worldwide continue to make advancements in such systems, it's only a matter of time before lasers with this power level appear on the battlefield. Continuing from our previous discussion on advanced laser technology, the US Air Force has now developed something so groundbreaking that it has the potential to be incredibly destructive. In this segment, we'll uncover the latest and sophisticated creation of the US Air Force, a system with super advanced capabilities that will astonish you. While tactical ultra-short pulse lasers have a history dating back to the 1970s, the US Air Force has recently transformed this high technology into a big revolutionary weapon system that can be integrated into various military platforms. This new and improved laser technology has the potential to significantly enhance Army platform's capabilities and is already creating a buzz in the defense industry. Although it's still in the prototype phase, this advanced laser technology has undergone successful tests and is expected to be deployed soon. To better understand this technology, let's examine how the tactical ultra-short pulse laser works. Incredibly powerful, it has a peak intensity that can reach up to a million times higher than the sun. Housed in a compact, portable device, it can be easily carried by military personnel in the field. When activated, the laser generates ultra-short pulses directed at the target, capable of cutting through steel and other materials with ease. However, this laser isn't solely a weapon. It can also be used for non-lethal applications, such as disabling electronic devices or temporarily blinding enemy combatants. The US Air Force's powerful new laser emits extremely short bursts of light, with pulse durations ranging from femtoseconds to picoseconds. For context, a femtosecond is one quadrillionth of a second. Due to its incredibly fast pulse duration, this revolutionary technology can cut, weld and melt materials with unprecedented precision without causing heat damage to surrounding areas. This makes it ideal for various military applications, including target identification and ranging, as well as disabling or destroying enemy equipment. When fired, the laser's energy is quickly absorbed by the target material, causing it to rapidly heat and expand. This results in a spiral reaction that triggers a shockwave to travel through the material, creating a small explosion on the surface. The shockwave removes a small amount of material from the surface, 
producing a clean and precise cut. For context, this is about a million times more powerful than the average power output of the entire human race. The US Air Force's distinct laser tech boasts the capacity for non-linear optical processes, allowing it to engage with matter in ways conventional lasers can't. Think of generating high-energy photons or transforming solid materials into plasma. With vast potential applications, specialists foresee a bright future for this tactical ultra-short pulse laser. According to US military experts, the tactical ultra-short pulse laser has the potential to transform America's defense capabilities and protect its citizens. The laser uses high-power fibers made of specialized materials that strengthen its beam, making it extremely powerful and precise. These fibers are made from specially coated materials that amplify the light as it travels through them, allowing the laser beam to travel at speeds of up to 300 million meters per second, making it nearly impossible to avoid or evade. This advanced technology also has adaptive optics, enabling the laser to adjust its own beam to compensate for atmospheric distortions and ensure focus and accuracy over long distances. This feature allows the laser to adapt to changing conditions in real time, maintaining focus and accuracy even in varying conditions. It also enables the laser to generate ultra-short pulses with greater spatial and temporal control, making it capable of remote sensing. The Air Force's novel laser possesses adjustable wavelength capabilities, a critical feature as various materials absorb distinct light wavelengths. By tuning its wavelength, the laser can effectively engage with diverse materials, broadening its potential applications even further. The tactical ultra-short pulse laser, TUSPL, optimizes its performance by customizing its wavelength to suit specific situations, like aligning with a material's absorption spectrum, reducing energy absorbed by the atmosphere, and maintaining intensity over lengthy distances. With the ability to emit multiple beams, the TUSPL can simultaneously confront numerous threats, making it a formidable defensive instrument. Unique to the TUSPL is its beam sweep mode, enabling the laser to rapidly scan an area and target multiple threats within moments. This capability is invaluable in high-threat scenarios, as it facilitates swift and efficient neutralization. Coupled with versatile beam configurations, the TUSPL stands out among laser technologies. However, high-energy weapons like the TUSPL generate considerable heat, potentially damaging the system and decreasing its effectiveness. To counter this, the weapon employs advanced cooling systems that meld air and liquid cooling technologies. This combination extracts heat from the laser, guaranteeing optimal efficiency and energy conservation. A standout feature of the TUSPL is its control systems, which facilitate remote and automated operation. These systems include laser energy, beam quality, and beam pointing control subsystems, collaborating to maintain ideal laser operation and delivering a focused, stable, and incredibly precise energy beam. Not only is the TUSPL a potent weapon, but it's also highly efficient, cost-effective, and low-maintenance, boasting an extended lifespan. While the TUSPL's future remains uncertain, ongoing development and refinement suggest it will become an increasingly vital component of the US military's arsenal. As you know, our channel is brand new, so please show your support by liking and subscribing. Fresh content is coming your way, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on the potential outcomes of deploying this advanced weapon system. Don't hesitate to share your comments below in the comments section.